Hello. Today, I'm going to teach you how to read tarot if you've never, ever, ever learned. This is something that I did not learn it this way. It took me almost a full year. I had a very intense um, mentor, and she didn't play. She took this very seriously. And in the mystery schools back, they were a mystery for a reason. In the mystery schools, they taught tarot with the mysteries as a way of an, an initiation. But so my mentor took it very, very seriously. And now I would like to teach you how to read tarot in 20 minutes. So I just made this up probably a year ago when. One of my girlfriends was learning tarot, and she didn't learn it as rigorously as I did. She, I don't know how everyone learns it. My path was not that, so I don't know. But I also feel like she hasn't, it hasn't evolved at all. It's like what she learned is as far as it's gone. This way, I haven't named it yet, but I'm going to put it in the only tarot class you'll ever need. because. You are 100% trusting your intuition. And if your intentions are pure, you will not be wrong ever. So we will have different places. You set sacred space, call in the quarters. And then we're just going to pull three cards. okay? And we are just going to tell a story. That's it. Oh, that cut weird. I've also had one, people ask me, how do I know when it's time to cut the deck? It feels right. It feels like it's time. You've set your intention, and it just feels ready. To cut the deck, you drop it, and wherever it falls. So we're going to tell a story. That's it. Hmm. I'm going to tell it. Okay. <laughs> So we have three cards here. We have a two of cups, and we're just telling a story. We don't know anything about it. What is this? Well, it looks like two people are shaking hands or sharing a drink. We have the seven of cups. So we have the two of cups. Next card is the seven of cups. What does this look like? Well, it looks like wishes perhaps coming true. And then we have the page of pentacles. It looks like he's giving a gift. So from just those, I mean, this could be a marriage. She's wearing a gown and he's wearing a kilt or whatever they were. And people, their wishes are coming true. And they're getting money as a gift. That's it. That's how you read tarot. I'm not even kidding. It's that easy. And when you're young, that's why they had storybooks, because your imagination told you, not the words. You don't need words. So that's how I would read this. They're entering a contract, marriage. People are going to, or their wishes are coming true. And money is coming. They get a gift. That's how you read tarot. I'm not even kidding. It's that easy. So let's pull three more and we'll do it again. And we'll just see what stories we can tell. This is a tarot is going back to that still small voice. What is your intuition telling you? When you were little, you learned by picture books. That's how tarot was taught in the mystery school. <clears throat> One of the ways. I almost choked. It wasn't taught that way in mystery schools, but. The way I was taught was you spend a week with each card and you go on meditation journeys. It is so cool. Maybe I'll teach that someday if anyone's interested in learning the way I was taught. So we're going to pull three more cards. We have a six of cups. Oh, man. We're not going to pull any cards that are. We have a six, five of wands. And we have a three of wands. 
it did not pull like the Ten of Swords. I mean, to, but it's just because we're learning right now. So we have the Six of Cups. What does this look like? Well, it looks like two little kids and their cups are full. There's flowers growing in them. So he's giving the gift. This could be a little boy. Yeah, it looks like a little boy. He has pants on and a little girl. This could be children. Looks like there was a fight. Well, this is a five of wands. They're in a battle. This is an action card. This is battle. And it looks like someone, perhaps a man, is thinking. So, together we have two little kids. And there was a battle. Who is the battle between? And there is a man thinking. This would tell me that this dad walked out. He could not get along with the mom. And that's what happened here. Fives are also growth. It's an uncomfortable stage. It's chaotic because you have four pillars for your corners. And then fives, you're outgrowing that space. Fives are always chaos. Sixes our stability. Not as stable as eight, but you can't build a house with six corners. Three is the perfect trinity. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. I mean, the threes are, to me, are a good card to get. So that's the story. And that's how you learn. You can learn uh, there are so many ways, but if you start by telling a story with the cards you see, just follow your intuition. There's no right or wrong way. There are no tarot police. And we'll go deeper in the next round.